Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be demonstrating you about the how to install the OEL 5.7 installation. So this uh, setup is mainly useful for you know for the installation of the Oracle database. So in the first step we are going to configure the OEL version 5.7 and then on top of, of it we will be going to disk will be going to install the database software on it in this video we are going to install the OEL 5.7 server so I have this software with me VMware workstation First, we need to click on okay. Create a new virtual machine. Next, okay. Hardware compatibility will be as my workstation version is 12. This is fine. Here, we need to provide the ISO. I have already installed the OEL 5.7 version ISO file from the e delivery Oracle site. And this is 64 bit. Then we need to click on next. Here we need to mention the name of virtual machine 5.7. We need to mention 64 bit for our knowledge purpose. And the second thing is we need to provide the location. In this location is the location where the actual VMware files will be saved. So make sure we do have the enough space available. I'm going to use E and then I, I want. let me check it from here there is one folder as a data card okay here are some files are available let me delete it okay e and data card so i'm going to e then data card actually my purpose is i'm going to configure the data card so this is the primary server the number of processor will be one here we need to provide the ram which will be allocating to this particular virtual machine for me one gb is fine uh, we can increase it later as well the network connection will be not so that we can use the connectivity network connectivity outside and inside the vmware scci is fine then click on here we need to provide the disk size our actual data file crd files will be stored here so make sure we have enough space and the oracle software files will be stored by it will use the 60 gb itself okay This is fine so this is what the configuration uh, you can see over here in one look and last we need to click on finish okay so now this ISO file is loading from here the actual installation is started okay to install or upgrade a graphical mode please enter we are going to use the graphical mode only let's make it enter
I will mention the uh, site from where I have installed I have downloaded the ISO file or the Oracle OEL 5.7 in the description box so that you can take it from there where you need to provide your own user ID and the password if you don't have your own user ID and password you need to sign up for the Oracle site we are not using the so just use the navigator here and, and press enter skip I'm not scanning the disk Okay, so we got this script. Uh, we are using the Oracle Linux. Click on next. English, this is fine for me. US English, okay. Uh, here it is giving the prompt saying the partition table or device SDA was unreadable to create. Uh, it must be initially causing the loss of data. Yeah, there is no issue. If there are available partition on the, those 60 GB what we have given previously so by using this option it will remove all the partition which are available okay so this is the networking part ETH zero. Okay, I'm not going to use the DSCP. Here we need to mention the IP address max value as well so this is basically for the uh, static uh, IP address I am providing here so whenever the server is getting reboot the same IP address will be allocated to the server if you want to know anything more about the how to assign the static IP address you can check out my other emails I, other uh, in the channel itself I have created one other video where everything is mentioned about the status and status static and dynamic IP address you have not specified the field primary DNS depending on your network configuration you may cause a problem later ok we will uh, use this setting afterwards here we need to provide from where we are belongs to
okay asia kolkata so this is the time zone what in days preparing we need to mention the root password i'm giving the okay so as of now this so simple password is not accepting once we have configured the server then we can use the simple password as well as per the recommendation from the oel for root user password should be at least six month six length character okay i'm going to use this for all the applications so depend on depending on the selection only it will fetch the packages and it will load to the server initially we have used the uh, option to format the 60 gb file system because initially there is a, there is a chances that some file system is available on those 60 gb so as per our uh, selection it is formatting the file system now In this video I am going to mainly concentrate on the server installation in the next video I will be discussing about how to install the oracle database on this on the same server so that the both portion can be covered with the two videos so as of now it is you know taking all the packages from the ISO file Here it is showing as the installing but basically we need to install it manually by using the yam or rpu based on what we are going to configure we do have some certain packages for oracle database installation that we need to uh, install so it will take some time for the time being uh, i will just pause the video I'll come back once it is completed. Okay, let's see whether the packaging installation is completed. Okay, so here I can see the package installation is completed and now it is asking for to reboot the server. Let's reboot it. Okay, now so here I can see the reboot is completed. Actually, I'm not capturing everything. Uh, you know, I'm capturing those things where the user intervention is required. I don't want this to be uh, go longer video. So the next thing is forward. We need to agree with the license and everything. These are some. Okay, so do you really want 
to enable the firewall for me i'm saying okay no no need to because sometimes you will face a lot of issue when the firewall is there see the next setting is enforcing that is fine okay uh, then we are not enabling it date and time that is fine okay so here we need to create one user without creating user also we can go ahead anyway in for uh, later we are going to create user with the oracle because we are going to uh, you know login with login to the database by using oracle user only click on finish okay to reflect the changes uh, sometimes it is reporting uh, now i'm logging with the root user which we have created as the default user and the password so this is a oracle oh, oh, oh. i guess i forgot my password okay so now i am connecting to the server by using the uh, root user and now we are done with the oracle oel 5.7 version here you can see it is taking the static ip address which we have mentioned earlier And this is the host name what we have mentioned as uh, while doing the configuration of the DNS setting. Uh, rest of the thing we need to take care uh, uh, like uh, we need to create the user group and the Oracle user as well and some permission we need to provide. Uh, I will mention everything in the next video. Uh, if you have any queries you can write mail to me or you can uh, write the same thing in a comment box. Uh, please subscribe my channel and like this video if, the, if you find this video helpful for you for training online training you can contact me anytime there is no issue so in next video I'll be covering the next part basically this setup is for the data guard, data guard configuration so I need to create the two servers over here the same thing I'm going to follow it for the standby server so if you have any queries you can again write mail to me thank you so much for watching this video bye bye see you soon